Hello world, welcome back to the third season of Wandering Back to Europe. We're no longer in League 1, so after two seasons of boring boring League 1, we're now in the championship. Which is great for us, because hopefully that means we can have some cash. And make more of a dead, more of a dent in our debt. Man, too, too many similar sounding words. And in celebration of our promotion, I bought a shirt. Look at that, Bolton. So that's their shirt, which is currently on discount. I think it's still on discount, it's £15. If you want it, go buy it, why not, it's fun. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the stuff, well, the stuff I do, the content, and hopefully you enjoyed the slightly new intro. Just tell me if you notice something new. It's typically, I mean, for the, whatever, 30 videos I've made, none of them start like this. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. So, yeah, like, subscribe, and comment down below about whatever, about, like, if you like the channel, what I should do, that sort of stuff. So, enough of that. Let's go into the Football Manager stuff. So, here, look at that, Championship. We are fifth. That's probably the highest we're going to be for the season, but uh, yeah, hopefully it won't be too bad. Let's go to the season preview. How bad is it? Eh, it's not bad. 16th. I was expecting like rock bottom. After the end of this game, I will check actually how bad the... What's it called? How bad the prices are? Not the prices are. The, the wage budgets that we have is. Because I feel like we had a 20, was it 20k improvement on last season, and it's not much. So I'm pretty sure if we go on here we're currently spending 76,000 per week so which is much less than i guess a lot of the people so let's see if any of our players on the media dream 11 no they're not makes sense let's drag down see if anyone's in there hey billy gilmore anyone else anyone else trevor chalaba so none of my official players none even forest green rovers has some wow so that's it. What's there to talk about? I think the most important stuff is transfers. So we had a whole, I guess, two months of transfers. And oh boy, was it something. Where should I start you from? Let's start with the transfers and go down this way. So first few early transfers, I guess, on the ninth was Kenza Gujman, which was, wow, this guy is, I am pretty sure he's a one, he's a, he's a great player because I've definitely seen him somewhere. And I got him on the free. I don't know what happened. Maybe he didn't like playing for... What's the team was called? Go ahead. But, you know, I managed to steal him. He's he's my top earner. 4.6k. But, wow. Look at this. Like, first touch. Amazing passing. Amazing technique. Vision. So, if you train his passing a bit more, he'll become an amazing player. And very quick as well. Man, I'm really happy. Like, what are they saying? He's currently Skybet Championship level. Makes sense. And potentially... I guess a Premier League centre midfielder, which is good because we're kind of trying to plan for the future a little bit. Um, we got James Reed, nothing much. We just uh, we just found him on a free. Why not bring him in the club? Just some youngsters. Butterworth uh, again. This guy we got for Chelsea. I don't know. I saw he had five star potential. I was like, eh, why not for free? Let's sign him. See what happens. If he becomes nothing, then it becomes nothing. Brighton with Bakare. Remember this guy. He played with us last year. Hey, he's joined us on a per on a permanent deal. And so did Keen Brian. So they don't need introductions. We know them. Right. So now here comes this, the more meaty parts of it. So Joseph Simonovic. I lied. Kenzo is not the highest earner. This guy is. 5.75k. Look at that. 16 headings, 17 jumping reach, 14 strength. So this is the thing that we definitely lack. Because if you remember at the end of season life... Well, end of season life comp. It wasn't really a life comp. But at the end of season episode, we talked about how none of our players were in the, I guess, top heading department. And like none of them won most aerial duels. And that's a problem because when you have center backs that don't win aerial duels, you will concede a lot of headers. So hopefully this guy, he's a good player and he's also good, good heading. So maybe that'll do something for us. Sure up our defense. Jose Luis, yeah, just a random guy we found from, uh, from Argentina. Now we have a rule saying that we can have 17 foreigners, I think. Yeah, 17 foreigners. So we don't have the work permit system anymore due to Brexit in this game. <laughs> That's the only good thing about Brexit is this so far. We got Alex Blanco. We talked about him. He's finally joined us. He's a decent player. And if we can get up his passing up, he'll be a good inside winger. We got Jamie coming on loan. This is a good goalie so we can uh, let go of Matthews. Matthew Alexander, not Matthews, but Matthew Alexander. Sorry, the names are very similar. You know, I wanted him to have more game time. And Jamie coming, you'll be there while the other guy's having fun. This guy, the Johnny Chabrol, we, we found him. 
Uh, I think he's a PSG player. Yeah. So we're trying to buy um, Mbeso and we couldn't. So we decided to steal this guy. He's all right. I think he, with a bit of training, maybe he'll be decent. I don't think he'll ever become a great player for us. Or maybe if he will, we'll be... I mean, he's currently League 2 level and he has a potential to be Skybet Championship. But I don't know. He's one of those players where I sign him on a free. Something happens, something happens. James Bree. Who is James Bree? Oh yeah, the guy from Aston Villa. We lacked right backs and left backs. Because if you remember, I was like, oh, we need some left backs and right backs. And after the summer of buys and sells, I was like, oh damn, I still haven't bought a single right back. So here he is. I'm training him to play both positions. Hopefully that'll help us. Now let's flip it so you guys can see because my camera will be here. Ba -ba -ba -ba, not by name. Here. Now, James Bree. Coopers. I introduced you to him last time. Uh, a Ruben and Dutch and American as well. This guy, basically what I did was I just started scouting a bunch of uh, American teams. So if you go like this to American teams and then you click, well, I did right click, insert, I think it was general and then like um, EU national and you go by EU national sorted and you offer trials. He came on a trial. I signed him. We'll see if he's becoming any good. And it's the same with a bunch of people. I think not Moreno. Moreno is not that because he's just, he's from Juventus. And I was like, you know what? He played for Juventus and he's on a free. Why not? And I'll explain why this is as well, because a lot of these players were signed to replace some people that left. He's quick, not the most strong, good finishing, okay composure, 12th, 11 concentration. Uh, he's a bit of an interesting player. Maybe the raw pace and the finishing will help us at some point. And last one, Mohamed Diallo. Again, random player we found from uh, Ivory Coast. They tend to make a lot of good uh, like good regens. So maybe he's one of them. He's got really good crossing, good dribbling. I mean, that's all I can want. Great work rate. So if I train him to be... I think I'm training him to play on the left. Yeah. So he'll be a good player, hopefully. Right. So this episode is already big, but let's talk about the big, big sales. So Sami Amiobi, 3.4 million. Didn't want to sell him. Uh, but 3.7 million or 3.4 million for a player who has been okay for us. And obviously he'll play well. Like, I didn't want to sell him. But, you know, we need money. And sad to see him go, but we need money again. Brock Bank, again, same same idea. Good player, good decent center back. But, you know, we need the money. And we have a 50% sell-on fee. So if he goes again, we'll make some money as well. This guy, Joe Dudu. I may have asked a little too little money from him because he went for 500k. That's not much, but you know, again, also it was like a 30% on sell on fee. So maybe he'll, be, he'll become good and give us some more money. After such a great season, I just wasn't sure he was going to do well in the championship. And I just wanted to get, uh, well, not to get rid of him because that's mean to sell him, you know, so he can enjoy his time and he's going to enjoy his time in Australia. I would love to go to Australia. So why wouldn't he? Ryan Delaney. Same thing, we, we loaned him out, and then I was like, well, he, when he's coming back, the only thing he brings is high determination. He also has decent heading, but I think we've outgrown him. Like, he's a Sky, Be Sky Bat League 2 player, not good enough for us, and for, was it, 275 and a 50% selling clause? Yeah, good money for him. And so is Senior, so I may regret this. I think he's a decent player, but he wasn't developing as much as I thought he was, and he's just... He's okay, but for the championship, I needed some money. I needed some players, so I need to get rid of a bunch. And what's important, yeah, we got rid of Murphy, uh, Clarkson, and Boone. And that's pretty much it. So that's all the transfers. So we spent zero and got 5.25 million back. That's, I think, a good deal. Our finances, hey, we're no longer in minus millions. We're minus thousands. So that's great. Hopefully... With the amount of maybe money we're getting from this and maybe more fans showing up, we can slowly, sh uh, I guess, slow down the decline because I feel like we'll never be not on a decline. So we'll just have to keep selling players. We got what? Okay, so we almost got 10 million off now. That's good. Well, we got what? 12 out. So that's good. In two years, 12 million. So, hey, not bad. We need a few more years to get rid of this debt. Right. Enough of this, our newly formed team is going to take on Stoke today. Hopefully this shirt that I'm wearing is not going to mess me up too much. <laughs> uh, it'll be annoying. And if it messes me up, switching back to the lucky jumper. Right, so we are ready. What are we going to do? 
uh, Spillane, who is developing well. So I might have to take him off um, under 23 duties because I want him to play more. Uh, Brown, he's come back. I don't want to loan him out. And I think we're happy. Number Bakare, Politic. I still haven't given him a contract because he wants 7,000. So we'll see. Maybe I can convince him to give some money to us. Right, so I'll... I'll put some of these players... No, it's fine. Right, so we're going to start... It's kind of a similar-ish defense. So we got Matthews, Lewis on the left, Brian Simonovic, our new partnership. Emmanuel on the right, Chalaba and Gilmore, Politic, Mubakari, Blanco, and Campania. So, yeah, same team. Nothing much has changed. Hopefully, that doesn't mess us up too much. And we're ready to play. James B will need a number. What number is a right back going to have? 23. Sure, why not? And we're ready to play. So the teams are warming up. I'm going to drink some tea because it's, well, it's cold tea because it's so warm in the UK. Cool. We're ready to play against a really good Stoke team. And let's give a team talk while I'm drinking my tea. <laughs> I have faith. Let's go. First game back. We don't need the table, but that's okay. So what are we thinking for the season? I am thinking, not get relegated, that's the most important thing. I do not want to increase my wage budget by 20,000 and then be relegated because then I have to get rid of 20,000 and it'll be hard to do now. But maybe, no, no, let's just stay up. Please stay up. Lewis, Chalaba, get rid of this box. It's a mistake. Brian gets it first. Gilmore, Simonovic, Emmanuel, kind of the same team. So hopefully they won't need time to gel too much. Gilmore, Chalaba. Good into play so far. Keeping the ball nice moving around. Simonovic almost messes up, but whew, managed to pass out to Brian. Lewis. Politic, where are you guys going? The goal is to the that way. Go that way. And Bubakari to Lewis. Is he gonna be a good cross? Campania! Ooh, and a Ooh. Okay, he just missed it. It looked like a save from um Butland. Man, Butland is amazing. I'm surprised he's not moved to a Premier League team. Both in real life and both in this game, because wow. I remember, was it FIFA 16 or FIFA 17? Me and my friend used to play career mode. A phobie, bring him down, please. Oh, I passed it out to Ince. Don't let him cross. Allen. Oh, and we concede from Joe Allen. Oh, no. Great start. 23rd minute away. And we concede from a long goal. Long goal, long shot. But yeah, as I was saying about Butland, me and my friend in was it FIFA 17 used to buy a Butland. And that pretty much just guarantees you... I guess success in the career mode because that guy was broken in the sense of he would save everything. Politic on the ball. Campania. Ooh, digs it. Mm. Maybe it was a mistake selling Dudu. Maybe it was a mistake. I don't know. I seem to have realized that I've misplaced my uh <laughs> my striker sub for him because where is the Is it Moreno? Pablo Moreno? Oh, I think he's under the 23s. Houston, we do have a problem. Allen, Inns, can you please stop him? The problem is, if now we realize that our team is not strong enough for this league, we can't do anything because they still have a thing where... Companion on the ball. They still have a thing where the transfer window finishes before the first game, which I think they're closing in real life, so... Yay! Hopefully FM21 will not have that. Emmanuel crosses it into Politic, and he gets a header. Good goal! Are we back to the days where our only goal scorers were wingers? From headers? Maybe. But Dennis Politic is trying to convince me to give him 7k a week. I don't think I'll be enough. Maybe a few more games in. I mean, he's got two more years on his contract, so... Doesn't really matter if he gets too pissy. Because by the end of the season, I'll either sell him, or he'll be good enough that I actually pay him 7k, so... And it's not like we can't even afford it, that's the thing. Like, I don't understand why he, what, what makes him think that he's 7k worth a phobie. Matthew's great placement and great block. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Right, Osborne. Martin's Indy. Oh, man. Martin's Indy. Again, another one of those great players. He was a wonder kid, I think, at some point. At least in FIFA. And not much happened with him. Right, we're at halftime. I'm not happy with the performance, sure. I know it's our first game in, but I kind of want to put a statement down. To be like, we're not just a team that will bounce back. Well, bounce back down. I do want to bounce back in terms of the grand scheme of things and go up. Simon, uh, didn't read that name quick enough. Chalaba clears it. Campania leaves it up. He's a bit too slow, I think. But he just brings about Martin Cindy. 
And that's not going to give you much. He wasn't a horrible foul. Lewis, with his great free kick accuracy. Find Simonovic. Mate, stick with the head. Don't, uh, don't shoot. I don't know why he didn't head that. It's like you had time. But, you know, great save by Butland. And are we surprised that Butland did a good save? No. Right. So, we're doing kind of well. Let's uh, tell him to get creative. Still haven't gone creative ourselves, really. <laughs> and, but it's not like there's like, there's like what? A few options, like maybe 10 options. So, and like three of them work. Ends, block ends, please. A phobie. That looks like a penalty. Oh. I feel, uh, in steps up. Uh, and he goes down the left. And 2-1 against Bolton. 2-1 against Bolton. We are not in the best of place. I mean, we're not getting outplayed. Which is good. Oh, hey, Sami Amir will be scored for Blackburn. Could have been scoring for us. But, you know. You have to sell. It's not our fault. The board thinks we could have gotten more for him. Perhaps, but we're in huge debt and I don't want the club to fold again. So I will have to sell a bit earlier. Lewis. Great cross to Campania. And Matthew. Not Matthews. Campania. Whoa. What was Butland doing? Huh? He just. He tried to run into the goal. So let's watch it again. So Politic. Back heel pass to Lewis. Lewis is kind of walking. I love this. They're just walking. Great cross. Campania wins the header. Butland volleyball parries it. And Campania with a great finish. Hey, good on him to stay composed like that. And to actually watch around. Blanco has been non-existent. Some might say he drew a blank. <laughs> Sorry. Alright. Let's put Igor Vera on. Who actually I could have sold for 10 million. But I got greedy. And I didn't want to sell him because I was like, you know what? He looks like someone that... Imubakari, eh, bad shot. He looks like someone that might get come good if um, Atletico Madrid wants him, Wolves want him. So maybe I did something good. So hopefully, I'll keep him on for a few more seasons. Maybe make some money out of him. Or maybe he'll become a legend at ours. Why not? Okay, inspired by my feedback of Get Creative. <laughs> How are we doing? So far, so good. It would have been good, I think, to bring on Dudu, but he's having the time of his life in Australia now. So, Igor Vera. Oh my goodness, he almost repaid me. Wow. What a long shot from that. Wow. Uh, I think my midfield is getting a bit tired, so we're going to bring in Sonny. And we're going to bring Jason Lowe. Yeah, I think we're going to struggle. We don't have the best defensive midfielders. So, I think that's uh, that's something we'll try to improve in the, uh, in the January transfer window. Miller. Hey, remember Miller? Rennie. Oh, good header by Brian. Finally, we're winning some headers. That's good. Campania steals the ball off. Is he going to run on the keeper? He's not quick enough. He's not composed enough as well. He hits it right at Butland. And we have a corner. Lewis. Lewis. Corner taken quickly. Lau. Don't lose the ball. Vera. Mbubakari. Who takes his time. And a grip. <laughs> what? So Lau gets the ball, right? He passes, he passes, a, he, well, Alan tries to tackle him. Lau regains the possession. Back heel to Vera. Great one touch to Mubakara. And I was like, that's it. He squandered it. Takes a touch. Push. Turn around. Bottom right corner. Not even bottom right. Top right. Wow. Even Butlin couldn't save that. What a shot. Hey, does this look like it does? And hello, world. We have won, two, three. And this is our first win in the championship. Hey, I did something right. Yeah, sure, the players can get a rest. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Wow. Where was Stoke predicted to finish? I should have checked this. Why didn't I check this? Uh, well, they're not on the top now, that's for sure. Season preview. Let's see. Stoke is predicted to finish 13th. So they're going to be our rivals. Okay. Sure. I'm happy. 3-2. We come from behind to win. Simonovic. Well, a lot of players made uh, made our debuts. He did not have a good game. 6.3. I'll tell him about it. Criticized last game. Um, your passing was not good enough. Yeah, it was pretty waffle. I mean, with your 10 passing and your, your vision is good. So maybe just let him dribble. Just let the guy run. And we've done it. I'm delighted. 
football is about. Tough talk. I am very pleased with Mbubakare on his kind of a debut. I mean, under he, we now pay money, so it is his debut. So yeah, that's cool. So the transfer window is done, so there's no point of me like playing here. Ooh, Sunderland, maybe that. Nah, let's um I'm thinking let's do something in September. So I don't want to spend too much time here. It looks like I might do a Middlesbrough game. I don't know why it calls me. Wait, what how is Oxford up here already? Oh, they got promoted last year, and they barely managed to survive this year. Okay. Yeah, so let's do the Middlesbrough game. How are they doing? They almost got promoted last year. Hmm. You know what? Aston Villa, Birmingham. Let's do Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough sounds like a good game to come back to. So, I guess I'll see you back on the 18th of September. Thank you for watching. We have done amazingly. Thanks for watching. Our finances are looking a bit better, but they're going to be bad by the time. Hey, already a bit worse. They're going to be bad by the time I see you next. Anyways, thanks for